Welcome to Creative Tian channel. Today we want to use knitting machine to knit a circular shape. Depending on the size, the smaller one can be used as a dish clothes, a pot holder, or a coaster. The larger size can be used as a baby blanket. And the technique is very simple. You will need a machine that can have the holding function. I'm using LK150. Most metal bed machine has a holding function to do the show roll. It's a very simple technique, so don't be scared by the word short roll. I'm going to make a small one with 15 stitches. So I start from 0 to 15 on one side of my machine. And I start with waist yarn. Need a few rows of waist yarn and then starting your main yarn. This is my waist yarn. You can cast on with any method. I'm just using a simple e rub cast on. Now I switch to my main color yarn and you can decide your own tension. I have it on number 9 right now. And now we can start. First, we need one row with plain knitting setting. So that's for plain stocking and stitch. And then we are going to start short rowing. And for the setting, we are going to change it to the holding position. In the LK150, it's a Russell lever going to 1. And I do that on both sides. So this is the setting for the short row. And I pull down the first needle all the way to the D position, the holding position. So you will not need. And then we need one row. And then we want to make sure we have enough weight because when we do short row, we always need a lot of weight. So I'm going to hand a big weight here. And I'm also going to hold it with my hand down because between the holding stitch and the new stitch, it's always difficult to keep the tension tight enough. The yarn can jump out of the needle easily. So the next one, we continue going to the second, put the second needle on hold and knit it. And then my left hand still holding the fabric down. And then we do the third needle all the way down to holding position. And we'll just keep going until the last stitch. We just have to make sure the tension is correct. We don't want it too loose here. Now we are at the last needle. I'm going to push this one out, or you don't have to do that because we are going to knit back the whole row. So we are going to change the setting, change the holding position back to the normal knitting for the plain stocking and stitch. That's Russell level two. And we do that on both sides. Now we will knit the next row and make sure we push down the whole fabric. So all the stitches are knitted back to the B position. And you can see here, we made the first wedge of the pie or the circle. And we will continue doing that until it's a round shape. I move the weight up and we will continue the second wedge the same way. I always start by moving the needle from the right side. So the right side will be on hold and the left side will have more rows as we need. So now we go back, 
push the right needle out and make sure we change the level back to number one for the holding position now we'll just keep going make sure you have enough tension and then the second needle on the right make sure the end needle needs properly the third one I will hold it down with my finger and then the next one now we are at the last stitch again you can push it out or you can leave it we are going to knead it back so we have to change the lever back to number two that's uh, no more knitting the plain stocking and stitch on both sides actually you only need one side but it's a habit to just do both sides okay now we have all needles knitted back let's take a look that's the second wedge of the circle shape and this is the first one second one and we just keep going until it becomes a circle so we put the weight back and continue knitting remember to change it back to holding position and we start from the right needle to put it in the D position and push the fabric down and the second one from the right now I finish all 12 sections and I end up with one row of knitting back all stitches now I'm going to change my yarn to waist yarn and just knit a few rows and take it off the machine and I want to leave the long tail for the yarn so I can use that to sew up the seam with Kitchener stitch that's what it looks like before we sew it up this is the pearl side and this is the neat side so we are going to sew up these two ends you can use Kitchener stitch or any type of stitch you like the Kitchener stitch will have a nicer finish an easy way to do the Kitchener stitch is through the back side or the pearl side and first you can count the stitches on each side make sure it has equal stitches so make sure each side has 15 stitches we have a long yarn tail from the center so we will start from the center out my yarn end comes from the bottom side here so first I'm going to find the stitch on the top side and go up the first one is usually hidden and then we go to the stitch next to the first stitch and coming out towards you and then we go back to the first stitch on the bottom side so each stitch will be worked twice now we go to the next stitch next to the first stitch going up and we look for the previous stitch on the top and then go up now we find the next stitch going down and we find the previous stitch in the bottom the one we work on once already going down and we just keep repeating that the old stitch new stitch this is the old stitch going up and the new stitch going down So here is the Kitchener stitch 
you can still see a little bit but after blocking it should be okay and that's the back side the kitchener stitch here now we just have to sew up this part using the yarn tail to tighten up the center hole and I'm going to iron it or add some steam to block it and we can add some type of border to make it less curved I'm just going to use crochet hook to add a little border to make it more flat you can add any type of border or even an eye cord to have a nice finish this is after blocking this is the back side and that's the front side So that's today's video. I hope you enjoy it and make something useful. Maybe a coaster or a baby blanket. Happy knitting!